Hi, and welcome to AutoCAD 101. I'm James Dunsmore. I'm a planner and urban designer here in downtown Los Angeles, and today I'm going to teach you about one of the programs that I use every day. AutoCAD is one of the most popular and widely used computer drafting programs for planners, architects, and other designers. In this course, you'll learn everything you need to know to get started using the program's basic drawing features to create and export scaled drawings of buildings, streets, and project sites. I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions for the most commonly used features and demonstrate the workflow for creating a simple site plan. In the next chapter, I'll show you how to get started, including navigating the user interface, creating a new drawing, and choosing the right drawing units for your project. In the following ch chapters, I'll show you how to create and manipulate two-dimensional objects using lines, polylines, arcs, and circles, as well as how to manage your drawing using layers and add dimensions and print your drawing at the right scale. Throughout this course, I'll be using AutoCAD 2014, which you'll see on screen. You can download the drawings I create in order to follow along or explore in more detail at your own pace. If you have an older version of AutoCAD, that's not a problem. All the tools and features I'm going to demonstrate today are available in previous versions of the program. If you don't have AutoCAD yet, you can download a free trial version or purchase a full function version at autodesk.com. This course is meant for beginners with no prior knowledge of the software. If you're already experienced using AutoCAD, you should consider checking out one of the other AutoCAD courses. As a planner and urban designer, I've been using AutoCAD for over 10 years, but you don't need a background in architecture or design to learn the program. In the next hour, I'll teach you everything you need to know to use AutoCAD for your next planning project. If you're ready to get started using AutoCAD to create 2D plans and drawings, then I hope you'll join me in the next chapter.